If you look what's happening in the United States, particularly, you have this anti-system movement. What we are seeing is a revolution against the system. So this is the antichrist system that they're pushing on us that wants to program us the way they want us to be programmed. They want to control us. They want to enslave us. They want to oppress us while they get richer. Now check this out. So even since a young age, even through the school system, the educational system, they educate you and they give you a limited form of information, right? And they educate you with the kind of knowledge and information they want you to have, but it's a limited form of information. And if they can program you this way for so long, guess what? You're not aware of it. You're going to end up submitting to their system. They manipulate you and deceive you into submitting to their system unknowingly. Now, they train you to be workers. They train you to be slaves. And most people in this, in this world just go along with it because they don't know any better. But you notice God's chosen people, the few chosen people. You know, if you've, always, if you've been one of those people growing up where you always question what you've been taught. You've always questioned the school system, questioned society. Not even because you were rebellious, but you knew in your mind like, ah, there's something more to life. There's something they're not telling us. Amen. Now, check this out. I want to show you an example of this in Daniel chapter 1, verses 4. It says, he was to teach them the language and literature of the Babylonians. The king assigned them a daily amount of food and wine from the king's table. A daily amount of food and wine. Now, think about the spiritual revelation that comes with this. They want to teach us their language and their literature. Not the language and literature of God but the language and the literature of their system, the limited form of information that they want us to have, because if they can program us this way for so long, ah, it sears our consciousness and our awareness of there being any kind of God, any kind of higher level of spiritual revelation. It, 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 um, it completely keeps us unaware from the wisdom of God. Now, when we're programmed this way, now they can control us. Now they can enslave us, right? Listen, they don't want us to be people of God. They don't want us to be people that walk in purpose. Amen. So they know that if they can keep us from knowing who our God is, they can keep us from knowing who we are. And if we don't know who we are, now they get to tell us who we are. Now, check this out. It says, but Daniel resolved not to defile himself with the royal food and wine. Why is this? Because Daniel was chosen. He knew better. Now, it says, but the official told Daniel, I am afraid of my Lord, the king, who was assigned your food and drink. Why should he see you looking worse than the other young men your age? Now, you notice he was basically trying to manipulate Daniel's perception. He was, trying to dan he was trying to tell Daniel, if you don't eat the royal food, if you don't take our literature and our language, you're not going to be as nourished as the other young men. But it was a manipulation. Amen. So the system is going to try to tell you one thing. They're going to try to give you this knowledge and say it's the right knowledge, but it's really the false knowledge. It's not what God said. This is also like divination. It says, please test your servants for 10 days. Give us nothing but vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then compare our appearances with that of the young men who eat the royal food. At the end of the 10 days, they looked healthier and better nourished than any of the young men who ate the royal food. So see, because Daniel decided not to take the language and the literature of the Babylonian system, guess what? It says after 10 days, he was better nourished and he looked healthier. You notice people who are enslaved to this system, when they're about 40 years old, they look in 60. Why? Because you first die spiritually. All right. The language and the literature, the information that the system gives us, you first die spiritually. Then you die physically. But listen, we are the chosen remnant of Jacob. Amen. We are the ones left over, the ones that God is raising up in these last days, the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists. We are the remnant of Jacob that they were prophesying about thousands of years ago that would rise up in these last days and would no longer submit to this antichrist system. I want to show you all something. Isaiah 11 verses 8 through 9, it says the infant will play near the cobra's den and the young child will put its hand into the viper's nest. They will neither, neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the Lord. It says, the infant will play near the, cobra, the, near the cobra's den. The young child will put its hand into the viper's nest. Now, I want you all to look at this viper's nest. The cobra's den is this antichrist system that we are living in. It says in Isaiah 59, it says, they hatch viper's eggs. And the one who eateth of these eggs, meaning the one that takes in this information, the one that eats the royal food. It says, he that eateth of these eggs dies, so you become spiritually dead. When you take in the information and you follow and submit to this antichrist system, when you eat the royal food, guess what? You become spiritually dead. And the Bible says, you too will break out into a viper. 
Y'all with me or y'all ain't with me? Oh, here, this is good. Come on here, somebody. The infant will play near the cobra's den. The young child will put its hand into the viper's nest. So meaning God is raising up a people in these last days that will no longer be afraid to put their hands in the viper's nest to take authority over the viper's nest. Amen. The viper's nest is this Babylonian system, this antichrist system. So I want to show y'all something. Listen, God did not allow you to grow up in this antichrist system so that it could break you. Some of us, right, a lot of God's chosen people were actually born in systems of poverty, born in systems of addiction, religious systems, witchcraft systems, amen, systems that were designed to oppress us. That's why the chosen ones in these last days, it looks like rebellion. It looks like rebellion, but it's not actually rebellion. It's God bringing his order back down here on earth. And God did not allow us to grow up in these systems so that they would break us, but to give us revelation and understanding of these systems so that when we grew up and got old enough, we could break it, not let it break us. We grew up in these systems that have revelation and understanding of these things so that when we grew older, we could oppose it, not submit to it. Come on, y'all with me or y'all ain't with me. It says the young child will put his hand into the viper's nest. Listen, when God told Moses, throw your staff on the ground, it turned into a snake. But God said, pick the snake up by the tail. And what happened? It turned back into a staff, meaning it turned back into his authority. God is raising up a chosen people in these last days that are going to take authority over the viper's nest. Come on here, somebody. Y'all with me? Hey, listen. God is raising up a people in these last days that are going to begin to, yes, wage war against this antichrist system. That are going to take authority over the viper's nest. We will pick up the snake by the tail and we will take authority over it. Come on here. Listen, I want to show y'all something else, too. You notice how all the elites of this world, they're trying to build bunkers and they're trying to build caves. They're trying to build hiding places because they know something is coming. Amen. They know something is coming. They're not going to say it's God's wrath, but they know something is coming. Listen, Revelation 6 verses 15 says, Then the kings of the earth, the princes, the generals, the rich, the mighty, and everyone else, both, both slave and free, hid in caves and among the rocks of the mountains, fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the Lord. Hmm. They don't realize this is not something that they can protect themselves from physically. The only thing that can protect you in these last days is the kingdom of heaven. Come on here, y'all with me. Listen, so it says in Isaiah 14 verses 13, you said in your heart, talking about Lucifer, I will ascend to the heavens. I will raise my throne above the stars. I will sit in throne on the mount of assembly. I will ascend above the tops of the clouds. I will make myself like the most high. But you are brought down to the realm of the dead. To the depths of the pit. So when Satan came down from heaven, got kicked out of heaven, it says he came down with fury and came down to deceive the entire world. And what he's doing is this antichrist spirit is now trying to use the elites of this world to put himself back at the highest point because Satan wanted to enthrone himself again. But it says in verse 9, then the realm of the dead below is all astir to meet you at your coming. Mm. It rouses the spirits of the departed to greet you. So these same demons, these same spirits that the elites of this world are in covenant with, some of them are aware and some of them know who they serve. It says the realm of the dead below you is all astir to meet you at your coming. It rouses the spirits of the departed to greet you. All those who were leaders of this world. Mm. Listen, this is profound. It says in Isaiah 24 verses 21, in that day, the Lord will punish the powers in the heavens above and the kings on the earth below. They will be herded together like prisoners bound in a dungeon and we will make captives. The Bible says that the ones who overcome, we will make captives of our captors and rule over our oppressors. Listen, if you one of them chosen people in these last days and you know what's coming and you know what's coming to the elites of this world, you know what's coming to this antichrist system. The Bible says that we will rule on God's holy mountain. Amen. It is time to stick your hand in the viper's den. It is time to take the snake by the tail and take your authority back over this system. Come on, let's get it.